doing something a little different today, everyone. Clearly, because here I am plaguing your screens. But I wanted to sit down and have an unscripted look at Wormwood Skill Tree and kind of just discuss why it doesn't feel very good. But for a little bit of context before we truly get into it, I myself have never loved the inclusion of skill trees in this game whatsoever. Although I can appreciate a lot of what Clay has given us, I just feel like a lot of this should just be base kit. And Wormwood in particular here is exactly that person personified which is why they're probably going to be the only one that we do this with and funny enough as we do get started here i think that sentiment is visible immediately with sea sleuth we are now able to spend a perk point on just learning what seeds are going to grow into before they ever grow into anything and that's great it's actually a really fun perk that lets you weed out weeds immediately before they grow but why don't we just have this in base kits? And then we get the farmhand one, two, and three, everybody. And uh, yep, these are the ones where I have no justification I can think of for these. I have no idea what Clay was thinking. Yes, they work. We compared them to the original bloom and how that helps tend to flowers and all that stuff, or crops, excuse me, uh, very well. And then this, yeah, you don't have to walk too far to do it, but... It's just like two inches, two feet, move for two seconds, and you're done. This is just a complete waste of perk slots. But as we continue along the line, especially on this one, you guys are probably going to wonder what I would replace them with or adjust within these skills, and I don't think anything is better than be kind here. I like it. I do, but what if this expended, expended, what if this extended to honey production? What if none of the bees were going to be mad at Wormwood in particular for actually harvesting from bee boxes? Boom. Immediately a thousand times better. But then there's Flytrap, which is at the end of the skill tree branch, meaning it's supposed to be the biggest bang for your buck, and it's garbage. <laughs> this is dumb. This is probably the worst skill he has. Why? What is this? So in summary already, we have four perks that I would completely just yeet out of existence. We have one that should just be base kit. And then, yeah, we have one that should maybe do one teensy tiny extra thing to make it really good. But what would I replace these with? Well, then we start talking about what I think everybody is talking about. Like photosynthesis perks or maybe interactions with more plants of the world including the new bright shade stuff and we'll talk about how wormwood literally has bright shade affinity specifically but why are lunar vines going after a literal lunar entity but come on beard you can't just say photosynthesis and then not expand on it so what am i feeling well what if wormwood in full bloom had a little bit of a health regen when it was morning out what if like the gorge event if in full bloom wormwood was able to speed up the process of growing plants and maybe just maybe although they have actually delved into this themselves what if Wormwood was able to transplant the untransplantable cactus and otherwise. I don't know, folks. Those are just my two cents of things. But now we get to the other branch here, which really does have to do with Bloom. We can reach Bloom faster, which is true, but it's only like two minutes faster. So is that really worth some skill points? We can stay in Bloom longer, which I actually did find to be pretty efficient. It's like double the length. That can be good because you get speed boost when you're in full Bloom and all the extra stuff along with it. You got the fly flower petal production which is okay i mean it's pretty fast it's like 15 20 seconds you can have some synergy with it and you know flower petals for the teammates for rot or maybe some quick healing i uh, know it's only one health but whatever yeah i can kind of get behind it and then the summer insulation thing if it's even working at this point yeah this is probably the one where i'd really just be like exit now this branch is probably one that can actually remain pretty untouched like if you're gonna have fun with the photosynthesis stuff and maybe some other plant things in another branch and yeah have one dedicated to making bloom faster and more efficient but if you're gonna do it make sure that it's actually faster and more efficient because two minutes is not that great and then we have the lunar affinities everyone and i have to ask this question has this entire branch starting from the beginning even felt like the lunar branch no no it hasn't so to then suddenly gain at 10 percent more damage against shadows 10 percent more defense against shadows and then the ability to spawn all these lunar mobs is kind of just weird on so many fronts especially because when was wormwood ever ever a summoner at all 
Because even in his introduction animation, they were always ignored by every mob in the constant ever. So how are we now just able to summon these things and now they're all followers? It doesn't even make any sense. But beyond that even, the summons themselves don't even like feel right or connected whatsoever. The carats are just going to bring some food stuff to Wormwood. But guess what? Wormwood doesn't even gain all the benefits from food and they don't even last long. The salad men are spawn in ripe, meaning they're going to set fire to everything and Wormwood hates fire. And then the light bugs is the one and only one where I'm like awesome, but that's because I like light bugs, but then again, you only need one to have infinite light, so why do we have to spawn any more? They also last a very short amount of time, and I bet most people are just going to abuse this to farm souls. So, that doesn't feel right for a character perk that is supposed to help elevate the character, not just kind of make them a factory of sorts, if you know what I mean. Because here's the thing, everybody, Wormwood was kind of unfortunately already a factory with the living logs and everything. So as we move on to this right branch, while I do enjoy it more than the left, it just kind of compounds that idea of Wormwood just being pure utility without like expanding upon what could be a really, really awesome interactive plant in the constants the butterfly friend thing is whatever i hate that we have to spend a perk point to start this tree on butterfly friend of all things like this should probably be the b perk maybe and then you launch into more of a production thing because yeah being able to craft plants is kind of a good idea i like it i don't like how we have five separate perks for them and a lot of them are just going to be useless like who's doing the lunar sapling thing <laughs> At, like seriously who's doing the monkey tail thing one trip one to the monkey island you will have every piece of loot you will ever need the berry bush things we've discussed them before should probably just be in one skill doesn't have to be two and they should absolutely be less expensive and then the one that is absolutely incredible is the lure plant crafting that one should be the end of the tree which it is should be a little more expensive which it is and it's good it's productive it, it once again elevates the character into like holy moly this is great we can start getting leafy meat recipes pretty quick but with all these i gotta say they gotta be condensed they gotta be a little cheaper here and there and they gotta give us more per craft one per is just not worth it but now we have the cheeky mushroom skills which clay has really not expanded on like in the hotfix video i had to tell people that they not only nerfed these but buffed them too I like these. These I can get behind. I've always kind of liked mushrooms, so I'm a little biased. But they do actually not only half the growth timer of every growth stage of mushrooms in a mushroom planter, which is huge, by the way, because it usually takes over a day or close to a day for them to do it. You also get six in one from one that is so good and then you can maybe even get a spore after that to keep it going but you don't need to use spores anymore you just put one green one blue one red six mushrooms and it's just incredible and then you got the moon shroom cloud which is actually like what a perk should be it's just a little extra thing that if you want to use you can pick it in the skill tree to use it right you eat a moon shroom you spawn a spore cloud you put things to sleep actually has quite a lot of utility and i like it but this should also have a little extra to it what if wormwood was finally our way to grow moon shrooms in mushroom planters that would be great. Synergy. You know, I've seen people question the Syrup of Ipecaca here, but I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. It does what it's meant to do. And yeah, getting more manure as Wormwood is a good thing. And you get three to four just feeding this to a beeflo and a pig. And you're not going to kill them unless you like really, really stuff their face with them. It's good. And it's actually kind of cheap. This, again, is a skill that... I would keep on a tree and just pick it if I want to pick it. But now, the big boys, everybody. Did I also say shadow skill trees when we were talking about these? Yeah, never mind. I'm lied. Uh, Wormwood only has lunar affinities? Yeah, I'm stupid. Whatever. Let's talk about the bright shade things specifically, though. Which we kind of just did yesterday with a little cheeky synergy with Beefalo, speaking of. But uh, in particular... They are able to spawn tunneling vines with any bright shade weapon except the staff, just like a Thulsite club, and they deal about 80 damage every time they show up. That's 
pretty good for a character that's not really meant to be in combat all that much. I mean, they can't be. It's not like they have any damage modifiers that are negatively impacting them. But still, when we think Wormwood, we don't think combat, right? But when you're wearing the Bright Shade armor, you also can lock things down with a temporary Bramble that deals 10 damage to them. But it also synergizes with the Bright Shade armor's new damage reflection on top of it. So you actually deal 20 damage to attackers if you're Wormwood. That is great. That is what speaks to me. Like, if you have to go into combat, if the Lord of the Fruit Fly shows up when you're maybe harvesting, you can, like, have damage reflection, and that is nice. That, to me, sounds like Wormwood. And, you know, just like the Mushroom Spore Cloud of the Moon Shrooms, being able to lock down attackers gives you time to, like, panic a little bit. <laughs> panic, switch to a weapon, get armor on, all that stuff. Like, yeah, these two skills... It's kind of weird that all of a sudden you have some bright shade stuff and it's only Wormwood, but I can see them working. I just want a little more out of the bright shade connection, like I said earlier. But there you have everyone, Wormwood's skill tree. Do I have anything else to say? <sighs> well, once again, I want everyone to know that I am not a proponent of skill trees, so if I took a little harsh tone throughout all this, I apologize, but I just feel like we could have had more fun with actual kind of mini refreshes and additions throughout the upcoming years with these, instead of just literally almost reworking every character again after four years of doing so, uh, but... You know, here we are, and I can appreciate what we got for all three, Wormwood, Woody, and Wolfgang. But yeah, I can't help but sit here sometimes and just question, like, what were you thinking, Clay? Like, these are complete wastes of skill points when we could have had fun skills and appropriate skills where we would have, like, oh yeah, I want to spec in that, for sure. Like, Wormwood doesn't have that. Wolfgang kind of has that, even though he's all buffs, and Woody is the perfect skill tree. Like, if there's any skill tree that they need to follow, it needs to be Woody, even though Woody absolutely still has some skills that should have just been in the base game. But folks, that's kind of all I got for you, because I just wanted to say my piece and then listen to your piece down in the comments. But if you want me to do this for, like, Wormwood... Pfft, Wormwood, uh, Wolfgang and Woody, I'll do it, but just know I'm probably gonna have more positive things to say about them two, especially Woody, than this one, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but if you want me to do it, I'll do it. Unscripted videos like this, kind of fun sometimes. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wished you all, again, let me know what your thoughts on the new Plant Boy down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.